Uh, thank you very much for having me tonight. Uh, as it is being in direct provision and, uh, you know, stay uh, many years in a holiday hotel for over seven years, I think I had enough of the holiday. So <laughs> I can go now. Yeah. But uh, I just want to share my thoughts on Calais because. I'm speaking with experience. I'm speaking as a mother of these children because I've been there. My children, my son, has been displaced for over three and a half years before he joined me. And I know the pain, the suffering, the struggle, the trauma these kids are going through. We are all mothers and fathers here. The people even who are making these laws, their mothers and fathers, do they sleep at night? A year ago, I, I can't remember if it was a year ago or two years from now, when we saw the image of this child who was on the shore on the Mediterranean Sea, the, ch the child who raised the road of Alam, the one who died, the story we hear. I've never, I don't know why I watched that image, but maybe it was good for me to do that. And that image, I still have that image up to now. And sometimes when I'm talking to my children and the stories, they tell me what they went through. And even if asking them, what were you thinking at that time when I was not there? What was in your mind? Sometimes I feel like I can push so that I can try to understand because I don't understand. I don't understand the men and the women make these laws over the ch men and, and the women who goes to labor. Women who understand the pain of bearing a child and live with these people, live with these men who make these laws. Sometimes I just don't get it. Few, three, three days ago, we hear that in England, they're saying uh, these children, they have to go, like Britt said, dental identification. My son, he was 15 and a half when he was coming over to Ireland. But the time I saw him, he was a 27-year-old man. Even the time I was fighting Tusla to identify his age, some, some, somewhere, somewhere else, I didn't blame them because my son looked older than his age. And the people who saw my son a few months ago and see him now, he's a total different man. He's a total different young man. And I can understand these kids looks like men. How can they look good when they, they have like seven months without even having shower? When they even haven't even had a proper meal? Guys, let's take this issue seriously. And I'm talking like someone who has stepped into these shoes. We are suffering as it is, being in direct provision and being li in limbo. But these kids are in the middle of nowhere. And Theresa May has to take these children. Frances Fitzgerald, she has to take these children. These are women. I don't know who is in France, but Hollanders. He has to take these children. This is our children. I'm talking like a mother to all of these children. Because yes, they are my children. So let's start thinking of, as one of these children are coming from our own houses. And when we are getting out from now, we have to find ways of trying to stop this. We've talked and we are talking, but nothing is happening. And as we are talking, maybe when we go back home and watch the news, we we'll find that these kids, they've been stripped off from the camp and we don't know what else. Maybe they've slept in prison. Some of them, they've been beaten. So, it's each individual's action. We've talked, but we need action. I like action. Thank you very much. Thanks very much, Daddy. That was fantastic.